my name is Misaki, and I live with my husband Tedora as a working housewife. We're newly married and don't have children yet, leaving that up to fate. So for now, we're enjoying our time together and having a wonderful married life. On this day too. Thanks for the meal. Everything you make is always so delicious, Misaki. Today's food was really good too. Really? I'm glad. You always say that, so it's worth the effort. Oh, if there's anything you'd like me to pack in your lunch, let me know, okay? That's sweet, but you don't have to make lunch every day since you're working too. Really? Yeah, we have a cafeteria at work, and you should get some extra sleep in the mornings. Oh, I'll wash the dishes. To thank you for cooking. Oh, really? Thanks, I'll take you up on that. We were living our ordinary, but happy daily life like this. However, after a year of marriage, so, my boss kept nitpicking and criticizing without listening to my side. He wouldn't hear me out, and it wasn't even my mistake, so I felt really frustrated. Oh, really? Oh. By the way, did you hear that Shaodani Shohei got married? Everyone's been talking about it. Hmm, I see. Lately, no matter what I talked about, Tedora would just listen half-heartedly. I felt lonely because of our lack of meaningful conversations. Even though I tried to engage him in different topics, Tetor was always distracted. The loneliness only grew, but I tried not to dwell on it to avoid feeling sad. Then, one day, Hey Tedora, I want to invite your parents over for a party soon. There's a dish I want to make, and I'd love for them to try it. Oh, really? Hmm. This dish is really delicious, and I also want to make these other dishes. Hey Tedora, are you listening? Is it okay to invite your parents over? What? Oh, yeah, sure, that's fine. I started attending a cooking class as a hobby for a change of pace. I learned how to make dishes for entertaining, so I decided to invite my in-laws over next month and serve them the food, thinking about how to decorate the room and set the table. The preparation time was so enjoyable and made me happy. One month later. Let's see, I've got this, and I've packed that in the bag. Oh, I can't forget my wallet and my phone too. Hey. Are you still getting ready? I was doing a final check to make sure I didn't forget anything. I'm heading out now. You need to be careful not to forget anything. If you remember something halfway and rush back, you might trip and hurt yourself. Wait. Are you worried about me? Of course, I am. You're my precious wife, after all. Thank you. Well, I'm all set, so I'm off. Take care while I'm gone. Okay, take care. That day. I had various plans and would be out until night. Tedora, who was in an unusually good mood, saw me off, and I left home in high spirits. A few hours later. I'm so happy you invited me over, but won't your wife find out? Are you sure it's okay? No problem. She's so simple-minded, she has no idea. She's always spaced out, so it's really convenient at times like this. Haha. <laughs> If she can't notice even small changes in her husband, she's failing as a wife, isn't she? If it were me, I'd be so focused on Tetora that I'd notice any infidelity right away. Hey now, women with sharp instincts are disliked, you know? I'm not fond of that type either. But, well, if you were my wife, I wouldn't be cheating in the first place. Oh stop, you're making me so happy. Of course, because you're the one I love. Tetora. I'm home. Huh? Tetora. What? She's back. What's going on? She wasn't supposed to be back until night. I don't know. That's what I was told. Anyway, you need to hide. Hide? Where? She'll find me right away if I hide in the bathroom. Damn. Oh, I know. There's an unused floor storage here. No way. I don't want to hide in such a small place. You can fit even if it's small. Now's not the time to be picky. If you don't want to get caught, you'll have to endure it for a bit. Like, fine, but give me a signal when it's safe. I had plans until night, but some of them got cancelled, so I came home early. Of course, I had informed Tedora, but he was too preoccupied with Aaron to notice. Panicking, Tedora hid Aaron in the floor storage to try to get out of the situation. Meanwhile, completely unaware of what was happening. Ah, uh, there you are. Come on, if you're here, answer me. Sorry, sorry. I didn't notice at all. By the way, you came back early. Some of my plans got cancelled. But since I'm back early, I thought we could start the party sooner. Ha! Huh? Party? Huh? I told you we were inviting your parents over today. Huh? What? I never heard about that. 
I told you yesterday. Your parents also said they were looking forward to it and to have fun without worrying about the time. What? Come on. You just weren't listening. So, you mean, mom and dad are coming over now? Until late? That's what I'm saying. They'll be here soon. Oh, and I need to put the new dryer here, so could you move? You're in the way. Dryer? We can't leave it in the living room with guests coming over. We'll be using it in the laundry room anyway, so I'll put it here. Ah! Wait, no, that's… What? Oh, it's just the floor storage, and it's empty, so it's fine. Anyway, Tedora, can you help me get ready for the party? We need to hurry, they'll be here soon. Okay. And so, I started preparing for the party with Tedora. After a while… We're here. Wow, it smells amazing in here. This is going to be great. Misaki, thank you so much for inviting us today. We've been looking forward to this since we got your message. Welcome, everyone. Please come in. Welcome. Whoa, Deiki, look at this. It's a feast. Well, it's like a fancy restaurant. Misaki, I brought the cake from that shop you said you wanted to try. I hope you like it. You remembered? I'm so happy. Thank you so much. I've been wanting to try it, so I'm really excited. Everyone. Let's stop chatting and start eating before the food gets cold. All right, let's dig in. Whoa, Misaki, this is incredibly delicious. It really is so tasty. It's mouthwatering. Thank you so much for the compliments. I'm glad you like it, hee <laughs> hee. Misaki is such a great cook. She's really my pride and joy. I heard you started taking cooking classes. Where are you going? Maybe I should join too. No way. If you go, you'll just burn everything to a crisp. What's that supposed to mean? Ah, Deiki might be right. Remember when you burned the pot and put a hole in it? Really? That's so funny. Ha ha ha. I, uh, need to go to the bathroom. Tetora, while you're at it, could you bring my bag too? Heading to the laundry room, Tetora. Ugh, it took you long enough. My whole body hurts from being in there. This is the worst. Shu, keep your voice down. What if we get caught? Anyway, Aaron, quietly and quickly sneak out without making a sound. What the hell? If we get caught, I'll never forgive you. Tedora, what are you? Hey, who is that? What? Oh, um, this person is the plumber. Here to check the pipes. Yeah, I'm here to check the pipes. No way. Why were you hiding in there? Hiding? No, you've got it wrong. Though, I didn't realize this was floor storage. Stop lying. It's obvious you're hiding an affair. Do you really think that excuse is going to work? Huh. No, it's not. Explain yourself properly so Misaki can understand. You weren't cheating in this house, were you? Come on, everyone, what are you saying? I just got lost and ended up here. It's clear as day you hit her to cover up your affair. Bringing her into the house is the worst. Deiki and I are right. Doing this in the house you share with Misaki? And while Misaki was out, you've got some nerve. Oh, great. I got caught because of you, Tetora. What are you going to do about it? Don't be ridiculous. It's your fault for making noise. Anyone would be mad if they had to stay in there that long. Shut up. There was nowhere else to hide. Enough. Stop with this pointless arguing. Don't embarrass yourself further, you fool. I can't believe you let your mistress into our house while I was away. I can't forgive you. Now I understood why Tedora was so concerned about the floor storage and the fact that his mistress was hiding there made me furious, as I struggled to contain my anger. Hey. Yes. You don't think you can keep smirking like that, do you? I'm not smirking at all. I genuinely feel sorry for this whole situation. I'm really sorry too. If that's what you call remorse, we wouldn't need laws. Ha! Huh. What are you talking about, sis? Did you forget that your sister and brother are both lawyers? Lawyers? Both of us are lawyers. Yeah, you guys are lawyers. But what's that got to do with this? We're going to sue you for damages, so get ready. We're on Masaki's side. Just because we're siblings doesn't mean we'll let you off the hook. What? This is ridiculous. Why are you siding with Misaki instead of me? Misaki is family too. To us, Misaki is more important than you. What? Siding with the wife over your own brother? That's crazy. You've been acting all quiet and sweet, but you've been manipulating the family behind our backs. The one sneaking around is you. I may be the wife, but my in-laws treat me like their own daughter. And Aya and Daiki treat me like a real sister. 
So don't compare me to someone who sneaks into our home while I'm away. What did you say? Getting so angry when faced with the truth? How childish. Oh, that's why you can hide in floor storage without shame. How pathetic. Err, who do you think you are? That's enough, Miss Saki. You've gone too far. Tetora and Aaron, ignoring their own faults, suddenly lashed out in anger. However, I was more exasperated than angry, as they showed no signs of remorse. Tetora, stop trying to make yourself look good by defending her. I'm not trying to do that. It's only natural to defend Aaron if you're attacking her. Ha. Huh. Then, why don't you keep siding with her all you want? I don't want to spend another second with you. I'm divorcing you. Divorce? Of course. Do you think we can continue living as we have after this? If we both put in the effort. I said I don't want to spend another second with you. There's no reason for me to make any effort for someone like you. And Aaron, was it? I'll be having a very thorough discussion with your parents about this. What? There's no point in talking to you any longer. It's a waste of time. No, please don't do that. I'm an adult. That doesn't matter. Sometimes involving your parents can help resolve things, especially for adults. Exactly. We're Titora's parents, and we're hearing all this firsthand. So it's only fair that your parents hear about it too, right? Please don't. I have a husband, and if he finds out, it'll be over. Whether it's over or not is none of my concern. You should have known this could happen before you started cheating. Now, you can deal with the consequences. Things you think will stay hidden usually don't. I don't know what your husband is like, but my sister and I will prepare the most airtight case possible. Documents. Ha ha ha. Come on, you guys, stop joking around. This isn't a joke. Eek. You'll have to clean up your own mess, so get ready. With everyone saying that, Tedor and Aaron found themselves completely cornered. Wait a minute. What I did was just a momentary lapse of judgment. Did you know that in Japan, 571 couples divorce every day? That's 23 couples an hour. One couple every two to three minutes, and even more so when there's infidelity involved. I really can't handle a divorce. If you were so worried, you shouldn't have cheated in the first place. But Masaki, you'll be in trouble if we divorce, right? So reconsider. Thanks to my job going well since we got married, I'll be just fine. But come on! You'll feel lonely without me, won't you? Not at all. I'll be relieved. I'm so sorry, Misaki. Please forgive me and don't tell my parents or husband. Are you truly remorseful? Yes, I am. Me too. I'm deeply sorry. Then divorce Misaki right now. And show your remorse by paying alimony. I don't want a divorce. Please, Misaki. I'll never cheat again. I promise I'll never see Tatori again either. There's no second chance. This ends now. From here on, my sister and I will represent Misaki. If you have anything to say, go through us. Tetora, you're disowned. Don't come back home. If you do, we'll report you. No, please. The punishment for betraying your wife is severe. Live with that burden for the rest of your life. Goodbye. Afterward, I divorced Tetora and demanded alimony from both him and Aaron. Thanks to Aya and Daiki, they now pay me properly every month. Aaron was also disowned by her parents and furiously confronted by her husband. Both Tedora and Aaron were kicked out of their homes and managed to find a place in a very cheap apartment. However, their neighbors above and on both sides were extremely noisy day and night. Because of this, they were constantly sleep-deprived but still had to work to pay alimony. The stressful environment left them physically and mentally exhausted, leading to frequent tardiness and mistakes at work. Their energy waned, causing them to miss more days, and eventually, they accumulated debt. They struggled for a while but ultimately found their burden heavier than ever. Tedora and Aaron ended up leading miserable lives, paying the price for losing their once happy and peaceful life, family, and the irreplaceable tranquility that money can't buy. As for me. So, adding just a little bit of miso makes it taste even better. What? Miso and stew? Yes. It makes the flavor more appealing to Japanese tastes. That reminds me, there's miso soup with milk, right? I see, that's why it had a milder taste. Miso and stew is quite unexpected, isn't it? I wonder what made the person who invented miso soup with milk think of using milk. Could you just be quiet for a bit? Even after the divorce, I maintained a good relationship with my in-laws. I had meals with my parents-in-law and enjoyed chatting over tea with Aya and Daiki. 
but I never imagined that, a few years later, I would become family with these people again. Neither I nor Daiki, nor anyone else, knew that a very happy future awaited us. However, until that destined moment arrived, I decided to do my best to spend every day with a smile, enjoying fun times with my beloved people. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.